This is Edward Brown, WNEW News. It's nine minutes past ten. Time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of adventure with Richard Widmark as your host. Here's a preview. So since when has a woman not wanted all the attention she could get? Like now. The dope smugglers probably landed their plane without any attention whatsoever. What are you talking about? But it was a cover-up, plain and simple. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. What if you went off to college and found that you were different from everyone else and everything was designed for them, not for you? Suppose you went to the library and all the books you needed were in Braille and you were the only one who couldn't read. You'd feel left out, wouldn't you? And what if you went to class and found that there were no chairs because all the other students rolled in with their own wheelchairs? Suppose one of your professors gave his lectures talking with his hands, only his hands, and everyone understood sign language except you. You'd think it wasn't fair. Well, that's how handicapped people feel now when they go to college and find extra handicaps. But things are changing, and we have free information that can help. Write Closer Look, Box 1492, Washington, D.C., 20013. A public service message on behalf of the United States Office of Education. This is Howard Duff, speaking for Richard Widmark. Being driven to the airport in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa, is Arnold McGuffey and his boss, Dexter Hamilton, who is the head man of the Drug Enforcement Division in Washington, D.C. McGuffey left the interception of an opium shipment to a woman called Miss Tawawa, for whom he took a great distaste, even though he'd never met her except by telephone. Hamilton gave him his choice of being fired from his job or flying to Hong Kong with Miss Tawawa on an assignment. They're on their way to the Nairobi airport to meet Miss Tawawa. McGuffey, for the first time. One thing I want to make plain, Dexter. Uh, what's that, McGuffey? I, and only I, give the orders about breaking up this dope ring in Hong Kong. No okay. care. I take your word for it that Miss Tawawa is good at her job, but I give the orders. Understood, Dexter? Oh, sure, sure. Now, uh, here we are at the airport. It's, uh, 1.25 now. Your plane takes off at 2. Uh, Dexter... I'm not sure about the way you said sure. McGuffey, did you ever give orders to a woman? Sure. What's that got to do with it? Well, she's not here yet. Uh, here are your tickets. Thanks. What, what do you mean? Well, Tawawa isn't your secretary. She's your aide. I understand that, but... Ah, then you will also understand that taking orders from you may not be to Miss Tawawa's liking. Do I or do I not give the orders on this mission? You do. All I'm saying is the Tawawa may not obey them. Then she'll be fired. I can fire her, can't I? Mm, I and only I determine who's fired. But, now, about your tickets. Dex, don't They're... interrupt. You fly direct to Bombay, then you change planes and fly on to Hong Kong. Change planes? Goodbye luggage. You make one stop at Bangkok, then go on in the same plane to Hong Kong. You arrive uh, about 2 tomorrow afternoon. That's 24 hours. That's the best I could do. Hey, here's my plane now. Dexter, Kawawa hasn't even shown up yet. Hey, maybe she changed her mind. Never. Uh, look, I must get on that courier plane to Washington. Good luck, McGuffey. Uh, wait for Miss Tawawa. I wouldn't know her if I fell over. Goodbye, McGuffey! And that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, McGuffey's Hong Kong Connection, by Ted Sherdeman. Our stars, William Schallert, Peggy Weber, and Shepard Mencken. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. At Sears, we know how important appliances are in your home and how important it is to you to keep them operating in top condition. 
That's why Sears wants their customers to remain satisfied with our products for years to come. That's why we service the Sears appliances we sell, to help make sure that your appliance will continue to give you quality performance. If you have a problem, just call Sears Appliance Repair Service. We're nationwide and listed in the white pages of your telephone directory. Sears, where customer satisfaction is one of our most important priorities. I love to eat. But it takes so long to cook. That's why we both love our new Kenmore microwave oven from Sears. I can cook a five-pound roast medium rare in just 30 minutes or three strips of bacon in three and a half minutes on a paper plate. Bake two potatoes in eight minutes and cook vegetables faster than boiling them in water. That means less time in the kitchen. And more with you. Fast, clean, cool cooking with Sears Kenmore microwave ovens, all with automatic defrost. Choose the right model for your kitchen from the many styles available at most Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Sale. Get big national savings on the Sears Die Hard. Only $49.99 with trade-in. You save $8 on the maintenance-free battery that starts nearly every car at Indy. And save on Sears Dynaglass Belt and 28 tires. They're on sale now at 40% off spring 1979 general catalog prices. Plus federal excise tax. Dynaglass Belt and 28 tires. Save 40% at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. Arnold McGuffey waited for Mr. Wawa to show up. He waited until five minutes before the plane was to take off, then got aboard and heard a stewardess on a loudspeaker. Is there a Mr. Uh, what's his name? Oh, it can't be. Well, if you say so. Is um, there a Mr. McGuffey aboard? <laughs> My... My name is not McGoofy. It's McGuffy. McGuffy. And I'm aboard. McGuffy is aboard. Uh, pardon me, miss. I'm trying to tell that steward. Oh, cure me, Sir McGoofy. McGuffy. Mr. Arnold McGoofy. Yeah, I am. Oh, well, be your seat and then strap yourself in. We're about to take off. All a nerve calling me McGoofy. Look, I miss Flora Tawawa. And you could understand about the name. It's the way I talk. I can't understand at all. You're, you're Miss... Tawawa. And I promise from now on to try to call you Mr. Magoof... Guff. Goffy. Thank you. Why were you so late, Miss Tawawa? It wasn't late, Mr. McGuffey. I got here an hour early and I boarded immediately. I was waiting outside for you. Well, I did not know. Dexter Hamilton had to catch a courier plane back to Washington. He left at 1.30. I kept waiting for you to show up. I didn't get aboard till 5 of. Yes, I know. How do you know? You just told me. Oh. And you had me paged by that stewardess as Mr. McGoofy. I have apologized for that, Mr. McGoofy. Guff. 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 And all the passengers laughed. Well, <clears throat> I got one thing settled with Dexter Hamilton anyway. I'm glad you did. You are to understand something, Miss Tawawa, and Dexter will back me up on this. What? When we get to Hong Kong, you're to take orders from me. Yes, sir. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, sir. Why are you smiling? I got a sense of humor, Mr. McGuffey. What are you doing, Mr. McGuffey? Taking off my shoes. What does it look like? I always exercise on a long haul like this. High-flying workouts mean happier landings. They do? You bet. You ever get earaches on takeoffs and landings? No. Well, you see, the modified Valsalva maneuver is a most effective cure for earaches. Watch me. First, you pinch your nose shut. You take a deep breath and you hold it. Blow out your cheeks with air. Then you push the air through your ears. And when you feel a sort of a clicking, you swallow. Like that, see? I'll try to remember. Do it before you leave the plane at Bombay. You'll be fit as a fiddle. <laughs> What are you doing now? This, this is called bicycling. If an individual has heart or circulatory problems, the immobility of the feet can promote dangerous blood clots. Do you have heart or the circulation problem? 
No, uh, I sure don't. And I don't want any. That's good. <clears throat> now, w watch this. I wiggle my toes on both feet, see? Yes. Then I raise first one, then the other, to the level of my knees, and I extend them as far as possible. <laughs> uh, I, I, I beg your pardon, ma'am. And I don't appreciate your laughing about it, either. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were coughing. Keep your feet to yourself. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to poke her in the, ba in the ba oh, back. Of course you didn't. <laughs> what are you doing now? <clears throat> this here is called rowing. Like you were rowing a boat. You almost moved me out of my seat. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Wow. I'll... Maybe I'll do some elbow rocks instead. Is everything all right here? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Uh, oh, I'm just taking some exercises, stewardess. I could swear to that, stewardess. It looks very strange. Oh. Uh, well, high-flying workouts mean happier landings. That's she's motto. Well, this is a plane, sir, not a gymnasium. Oh, y y you object? No, as long as you don't disturb the other passengers. Can I bring you anything, my dear? No, thank you, stewardess. That was nice of her. Disturb the other passengers. Fine kettle of fish when a man can't exercise so he'll feel fit. Ooh, my neck. Well, now watch this, Mr. Wawa. It's called head rolling. Not you. Mr. Wawa, why are you standing in the aisle? Boy, you earned your name. McGoofy. Uh, would you... Oh, you know... This flight is a long one. We have to change planes at Bombay, and we won't get to Hong Kong until 2 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. Now sit down in your seat. No, thanks. 24 hours on planes is a long time. You'll be glad to know about these exercises when you try to walk off the plane. I will walk up and down the aisle when I feel like it, but I do not want to exercise as you just did in your seat. Thanks, but no thanks. Just because I poked that lady in the back while I was wiggling my toes, I quit it right away. I even apologized to her. Did you want to talk about the breaking up of that dope ring in Hong Kong? There's plenty of time for that. Now, can't you see I'm determined to feel fit after we arrive there? Why did I ever consent to take an assignment with you? Huh, that's a good question. Why did I ever consent to take an assignment with a woman? Lamb this is the actual voice of Thomas Everywhere Edison. That Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Preserved just as it was recorded on his talking machine. When Sears decided to help preserve Edison's Fort Myers home, we used the Weather Beater, our best long-lasting tough exterior latex paint. This paint covers trim, doors, and siding in one coat when used as directed. And it helps protect against weather's worst. Sears Weather Beater, for great American homes like yours. The bids are in for men's lightweight suits, and the offers from Sears show prices are down. Way down. What a time to buy during Sears Spring Suit Clearance. The prices are low, the value is high, and you can wear these handsome lightweight suits right now. Choose from vested suits, four-piece suits, and more. Not all styles and all sizes, so hurry in while quantities last. Sears Spring Suits for Men. Now a very good investment. Watch the birdie. Oh, that's great. Uh, your baby's wearing Sears Sleep and Play suit, right? Mm-hmm. And that baby stroller with the shovel handles from Sears, too? Right. Uh, why Sears? Because Sears has what I need. Take Winnie the Pooh Sleep and Play suits. They have double fabric toes, a must for my infant dynamo, and the stroller. That shovel handle lets me move the stroller easily with just one hand. But why the questions about Sears? Well, my wife's expecting. Oh, we get the picture. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Miss Tawawa and Arnold McGuffey landed in Bombay at 30 minutes past midnight and their plane to Hong Kong didn't depart until a quarter to four that morning. By the time they'd recovered their luggage and checked it onto their flight out, they still had three hours' time to kill. McGuffey decided to type a letter to Dexter Hamilton and told Tawawa she was on her own. She uh, promptly curled up on a bench to sleep. I don't know how she does it. 
She didn't take any exercise aboard the plane, yet she walked off like she's going to a ball. Unless she exercised in secret. That must be it. Nobody has a right to look as beautiful and untired as she does at nearly one in the morning. That must be it. She exercised, and she used the modified Valsalva maneuver to cure her earache without my noticing it. Now... Dear Dexter, our flight from Nairobi to Bombay, where this is written, was uneventful. Miss Flora Tawawa, that's her first name, Flora, was aboard the plane when I got on. She's a pretty enough girl, Eurasian of Filipino Scotch blood, born in Manila, but she is still a woman. You know my views. But I must reiterate, women have no place in the drug enforcement division outside the typing pool. Certainly, when it's as dangerous as breaking up a dope ring in Hong Kong. I don't care that she has a black belt in karate or is an expert pistol shooter. She is still a woman. And is she ever secretive? She took exercises and used the modified Valsalva maneuver to cure her earache on landing. And she did it privately. I mean, without letting me in on it. All of my objections to working with her are coming true. You can readily see that the least she could have done is tell me about it, now can't you? Mr. Magowski. I'm typing a letter to Dexter Hamilton. It is time to board our plane. It is? It is. Why didn't you tell me that you had exercised? Tell you what? Or that you had used the modified Valsalva maneuver to cure your earache? I didn't exercise or use your whatchamacallit. I don't get earaches. Aches. Yes. What are you trying to do? Make a liar out of me? I am trying to do nothing. Oh, yes, you are. Mr. McGoofy, all Gumpy. I'm trying to do is to get you to board the aeroplane that is flying off to Hong Kong. Soon as I end this letter to our boss, Dexter Hamilton. Yours truly, Arnold McGuffey. I'm Aren't you or are you not catching the plane to Hong Kong? Soon as I get the lid back on my typewriter, Miss Tawawa. See you in Hong Kong. Eventually. Will you wait for me? <laughs> Well, we're an hour out of Hong Kong, Miss Tawawa. Do you want to talk about how we're going to break up the dope ring? Oh, uh, not right now, actually. I'm, I'm uh, kind of sleepy. Everybody on this plane must be sleepy. Mm. Oh, it is the uh, fabulous Siamese lunch we were served. Uh, or, uh, or should I say, Thailandese lunch. Oh, boy. Hmm. Another one. A stewardess? Yes, may I? Oh, another one has passed out. Everybody on this plane has. Everybody? It must be from the Siamese lunch we served. I never eat it. I don't eat it. But it looked delicious. What? Stop! What happened? The plane, it, it lurched. We're losing altitude. Maybe I'd better check the pilot and see. I'll go with you. <laughs> Again, no wonder we're losing altitude. The pilot is leaning on the wheel. He's passed out. So is the co-pilot. Everybody in here is passed. Out. Help me pull the pilot loose from the wheel. What are you doing? Dragging him out of the seat. Uh, help me. Uh, oh, there. Uh, captain, Captain, speak to me. Please get the co-pilot out of the seat too. What are we doing? Oh, uh, there's nobody flying the plane now. With a passed out flight crew, that leaves only us. What do you mean? What I say, you sit in the co-pilot seat. I don't know anything about this plane. From all I've read, it practically flies itself. I don't care what you've read. Would you please sit in the co-pilot seat? But I don't know what to do. Do what I told you. Don't panic. Don't panic, she says. That's what I said. <laughs> Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. Mystery by the Masters. Edgar Allan Poe, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Louis Stevenson, Guy de Maupassant. 
You'll hear radio dramatizations of their most popular works on our CBS Radio Mystery Theater Weekend Classics. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for Mystery seven times a week on most of these stations with original radio plays Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, we bring you the classics, modern adaptations of the world's greatest stories of mystery, adventure, suspense, and even humor from the pen of Mark Twain. If you've read them before and want to enjoy them again, or if they're new to you now, listen here and enjoy our radio dramatizations of the world's great literature every Saturday and Sunday on CBS Radio Mystery Theater. And of course, listen in Monday through Friday, too, for original tales of the macabre over most of these CBS Radio Network stations. I gained 20 pounds in two months. Chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, I never lost that weight either. Uh, with me, it was different. I was climbing the walls, yelling at the kids. I just couldn't live with myself. Mm, neither could Dan, could he? <laughs> no, not really. He said having a wife that smoked was better than being terrorized day and night. Yeah, better a friendly dragon than a nasty dragon, huh? Right. So anyway, I'm back to a pack and a half a day, addicted just like I was Let's before. Let's hold it right there. The American Heart Association wants you to know that smoking cigarettes becomes a habit, not an addiction. Habits can be broken. Smoking is a matter of choice, not destiny. We can help you quit. You don't have to gain weight or climb the walls. Contact your American Heart Association for a free booklet that explains how to break your cigarette habit step by step. The American Heart Association wants you to know we're fighting for your life. Hong Kong to flight 22, over. This is flight 22, over. Captain Boville, over. Captain Boville has passed out. Everybody has passed out. You, 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 you're a woman. So I have been told. Clear the street for me. Are you, are you flying that plane? There is nobody else. I told you, everybody but a stewardess and I have passed out. Oh, I, 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 I've never tried to talk down a 747 before. That's all right. Just clear the street for me. There, there are so many things. Knock it off. Please stop transmitting and clear the street. Are you, are you sure you know what you're doing? No. Now start clearing the street. Oh, dear me. Oh, out. For the new tweet. Stewardess, what are your name? Alice. Okay, Alicia. I'm Flora. Flora, may I ask you something? What? Where did you learn to fly a 747? I didn't. Oh. Don't you press out on me. Did it make things easier if I didn't see anything? Look, I was raised in Manila. I don't care where you were and raised. And I learned to fly a C-47 from my father. This is no C-47. I know that. You probably never heard of them. They were two more prop jobs. This is a very big Also jet. known as DC-3. Why can't I pass out? The lucky ones will never know what happened to them. Oh. <gasps> There's the airport. Oh, why are all those lights blinking? They come on when the flap are lowered and the landing gear is let down. Well, here we go. Maybe if I close my eyes. Huh? What? Are all those ambulances and the firefighting trucks doing down there? I know one thing. Captain Bovell always reversed the motors when he landed. First, we had to land. Oh, what? Too high. A little lower. Uh, not to reverse any end. Uh, oh. Well, Felicia, oh. we are on the ground. Oh. You can open your eyes now. You did it, Flora. You did it. What are all those people waving at? You saved us. You saved my life. I saved my own life. What is that man waving at? At you. Listen to the cheering, huh? Oh, huh. oh I'd better get back to my passengers and open the doors. Huh. You think it was really the lunch that made everybody pass out? You did it. You saved everybody. All the eyes of the airport were on you. Oh, the eyes were on me? Oh, dear. I 
passed out, but uh, congratulations on landing the plane. Thank you, McGuffey. But I think I know the reason you and everybody else passed out. Of course, I, I'd have passed out anyway if I knew you was flying a plane. What'd you say? You ate that lunch, and I didn't. You said you knew the reason why everybody... Neither did Alice. Who's Alice? The stewardess who held me. She didn't eat it either. What has that got to do with it? Don't you see? All attention was on my landing at Kai Tech. Where? Kai Tech, the airport here. At Hong Kong, Kai Tech is his name. Oh. So since when has a woman not wanted all the attention she could get? Like now. The dope smugglers probably landed their plane without any attention whatsoever. What are you talking about? But it was a cover-up. Plain and simple. The dope smugglers knew all attention was being diverted from them so they might slip into land. That's crazy. Why? Tawawa, you saved over a hundred lives that might have been lost if that plane we were in had crashed. A hundred or so lives mean nothing to the dope smuggler. If there had been a crash, their mission would still be completed. Well, uh, that may be true, it but... certainly is true. It's also true that I might have made it possible for the dope smuggler to land because all attention was on me. Miss... Miss Tawawa... <laughs> Yes, Mr. McGuffey. You amaze me. This British Crown Colony has an area of 400 square miles and a population of well over 4 million people, 80% of whom live in 15 square miles. This land we are on is known as the Kowloon Peninsula. It was acquired by the British in 1860, mm -hmm. and in 1898, they got more island and the new territory on a 99-year lease. That means they've only got, uh, only got them for nine more years. Seventeen more years. Huh? My heart bleeds for them. Mine, too. Mr. Wawa, there must be a better way to break up the dope ring shipments to the U.S. than us watching planes at this airport all the time. I was wondering when you were going to come to that conclusion, Mr. McGuffey. Oh, you got a better suggestion? First, that we get a place of our own, rather than stay at the hotel all the time. Like where? Well, we could rent a little flat in Wong Tai Sin. W why there? It's where I stayed my last trip to Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. You've, you've been in Hong Kong before. Several times. Well, do you, uh, you have any scruples about living with a man? I mean, well, it can get pretty chummy in one little flat. A holla nice. What, what, what's that? It's a Tagalog expression. Yeah? What, what's it mean? Come what may. Bahala what? Nice. Bahala nice. Bahala nice. How do we get this here place? The Wong Tai Sin? Come on, I'll show you. These streets. Is anything built on the level? Climbing's never hurt anybody. And look at them poles sticking out of nearly every window. I'm sick of them already. <laughs> it's Hong Kong's national flag, Mr. McGuffey. National flag? Black pants, long johns, brassiers, and Lord knows what else. That's a national flag. Laundry, Mr. McGuffey. Hong Kong's national flag is laundry. Hmm. Uh, the Wong Tai Sin Resettlement Estates are very crowded, sir. You, you have a sign up. Somebody must have moved out. Oh, yes, but it's a very small place. How small? It only holds two and a half persons. We'll take it. Oh, well, wait a minute. How can you measure half a person? A child under ten. Oh, I see. Take it. Well, we will take it. Uh, sign here. Oh, when he said it was small, he wasn't kidding. There's a window. A window that looks right into the flat across the way. That one must hold about four and a half persons. Well... I'm going out anyway. Where? To take the Star Ferry to Hong Kong Island. Then to Gaikwan. Why? Mr. Mogofi, we are here to break up a dope ring. 
And you're taking a ferry boat ride? I am going to Greich One, Mr. McGuffey. I heard of that place. Endless parade of gaudy dives and tawdry nightclubs. Where do you expect me to look for the dope shippers? On Beacon Hill? Well, why not? Expect me back about one or two tomorrow morning. Beacon Hill. That's the place to go. You uh, got on at Beacon Hill? Oh, yeah, I did. Marvelous view from there. Oh, you are American. You bet. <laughs> uh, you are uh, tourists in Hong Kong uh, for business? Oh, a uh, little bit of both. <laughs> oh, he spotted us. Who? Who did? Those teddy boys, they're coming this way. Who is, uh, oh, <laughs> hi there. Hi, man. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you two are students? We're teddy boys. Give me a cigarette. I don't smoke. How about you, old man? I do not smoke. Then you give us money to buy some six. I have no money. Then you give us money. Oh, uh, well, sure. I, I have just a little bit of change on me, but... We'll take that. Well, c come on. Uh, wait a minute. Our cigarettes don't cost that much. We smoke only the expensive kind. We're going dancing and have some fun. Uh, wh where, where do you go? <laughs> Anywhere we want to, man. Let's go before they call a cop. Hey, that boy took most of my money. They are not Chinese. What, what the devil are they, then? They are not refugees from China, but were born and raised in Hong Kong. Yeah, well, I'm going to call a cop. Is there one on this train? What good will it do? The teddy boys are cars away from us now. We were not hurt. Be grateful. Grateful? That he took most of my money? Oh, well, the old people like me are content to have Hong Kong as refuge. But uh, the teddy boys want uh, more than that. Never drink, Sora? No, thanks. I don't know how to go about it. Marrying an American sailor? Yes. He asked me last month, but she, I don't She know. asked you last month? Mm -hmm. I mean, quitting my job, going to live in the States. It's a big step, you know. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. What? Not worry? I think by now his ship has already sailed. <laughs> I see what you mean. Ah, look at the time I've got to go to my job. What kind of a job? Oh, I paint eyes on Eve dolls. On what? Eve, as in Adam. They are plastic dolls. I paint eyes on them. Oh, the major customer is in the U.S. of A. Oh, yes? Ah, thing I do not understand. You see, I pass him after I paint the eyes to another artist. He dresses some eyes with a, a, a glint. Some he does not. Why is that? I don't know. He just adds a flick of paint to some, to others he does not. What happened to the dolls then? They go to the shipping department where they are stuffed and dressed and crated. Say, if you want a job, look me up. This is the address of the factory, right on the card there. Ah, oh, thank you. Sorry I have to leave, Flora. Nice talking to you. Dexter Hamilton here. Uh, hello, Dexter. This is McGuffey. Where are you, McGuffey? In Hong Kong. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. How you doing? As a babysitter, first grade. As a narc, not so good. Uh, what do you mean, babysitting? I'm saddled with a female, remember? Oh, yes. Miss Tawawa, how is she? Crazy. Just crazy. You know this crazy idea she's come up with? <laughs> McGuffey, Miss Tawawa is a fine operative in the Drug Enforcement Division. In your book, not in mine. Y you know what she's done? Well, what's she done now? She's taken a job in a doll factory. What? Yeah, that's right. You heard me, Dexter. A doll factory. She thinks the dolls, some of them at least, could be stuffed with heroin and thus shipped to the States by air or water. Now, isn't that the craziest idea you ever heard of? <laughs> what have you done about it? 
Have you ever tried to talk to Wawa out of anything? Well, what gave her the idea of getting a job in a doll factory? Some other female person she met at a bar in Jaiwan. I tried to talk her out of it, but no, she insisted. Did you ever hear of a crazier idea? Yeah. From whom? From you, McGuffey. <laughs> Very pretty girl, Mr. Wawa. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Young. You, you like to work here? Uh, well, pasting hair on plastic dolls is not my idea of a career, Mr. Oh. Young. Well, it is a stepping stone, Mr. Wawa. Uh, packing Eve dolls for shipment is a better one. Oh, I could arrange it. As the owner of this factory, I would think you could. Oh, providing you are, shall we say... Nice to me, Mr. Wawa. Uh, I, 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 I could be, Mr. Oh. Young. Oh. <laughs> Have you uh, had experience in shipping the foreman? No, but I had no experience pasting hair on plastic dolls. <laughs> <laughs> it is refreshing to find such honesty, <laughs> uh, especially... In a pretty face. Uh, not here, Mr. Young. Oh, oh, nobody is watching. Oh, the dolls are. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wall, I will arrange for you to be transferred to the shipping department if you, uh, if you give me your address. First the job, Mr. Young, then the address. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm loading my pistol. What do I look like I'm doing? What for? I am now in the shipping department of the doll factory. So why the pistol? I have found Eve dolls stuffed with heroin. The ones with no glint in the eye. The wh what? I pack four cases of no glint in the eye dolls today. There's a big shipment taking place soon. Now, look, you're not to go back to that factory until I've cased the place first, Mr. Wawa, so put up your pistol. Who found that factory to begin with? I don't care who found it to begin with. You're not to go there, so put up your pistol. And who tried to talk me out of working there? We are partners, Miss Tawawa. You take orders from me. No, you know how you're acting. I'm not acting. This is for real. You're being a male... Chauvinist pig. Mary had a little lamb. This is the actual voice of Thomas Edison. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Preserved just as it was recorded on his talking machine. When Sears decided to help preserve Edison's Fort Myers home, we used the weather beater, our best long-lasting tough exterior latex paint. This paint covers trim, doors, and siding in one coat when used as directed. And it helps protect against weather's worst. Sears Weather Beater. For great American homes like yours. The bids are in for men's lightweight suits. And the offers from Sears show prices are down. Way down. What a time to buy during Sears Spring Suit Clearance. The prices are low, the value is high, and you can wear these handsome lightweight suits right now. Choose from vested suits, four-piece suits, and more. Not all styles and all sizes, so hurry in while quantities last. Sears Spring Suits for Men. Now a very good investment. This summer's hot item, cool t-shirt dresses. Now a Sears super value for only $14.99. How? It's simple. It's a Sears special purchase, which means, though not reduced, it is an exceptional value. They're bright, solid dresses in v-necks, scoop-necks, and more. A washable polyester and cotton knit in misses sizes. Choose your favorites now while quantities last, because at $14.99, these t-shirt dresses won't stay at Sears long. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Howard Duffy in, and here's the concluding act of McGuffey's Hong Kong Connection. This is Mr. Young's office, men. Visitor for you, Young. Oh, come in. Come in, sir. You can go, Terry. I am Mr. Young, the owner of this plant. Well, I'm uh, Mr. McGuffey. Oh, how do you do? Please be seated, Mr. McGuffey. How do you do? <coughs> Say, uh, that, that boy, has uh, has he been with you a long time? Well, Terry, uh, about a year, 
Yes, my right arm. Uh-huh. He's, uh, what do you call him in Hong Kong, a teddy boy? I employ no teddy boys. What is your business with me, please? Well, <clears throat> I represent a chain of stores on the west coast of the U.S. I see. And uh, we'd, we'd like to place an order for your Eve dolls. Uh, say, 2,000 of them to be shipped immediately. Oh, oh that is not possible, Mr. McCoffey. Previous commitments keep me from obliging you. If you excuse me... Well, I, 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 I want to know uh, why. You boss me, Young? Sure, Mr. McGuffey, i Teddy. Did you see Mr. Young? Yeah, I saw him. He refused to sell any dolls. I said I represented stores on the West Coast. What are you doing? Well, I'm loading the pistol. That's what it looks like. Well, then you didn't have to ask, did you? I cannot hold off Mr. Jong much longer. No worry, you won't have to. I've already called the Hong Kong police. They're going to meet me there at the factory. What are you doing? Loading a pistol. You won't need it. You are to wait here until I get back. What? You heard me, Miss Tawawa. This is no job for a woman. I don't want to wait here. You will do as you're told. Remember, I give the orders. <laughs> That's better. I'll be back as soon as I clear up this thing and turn Yong and Teddy over to the Hong Kong police. <laughs> this must be the way to the shipping department. Oh, yeah, there they are, the dolls. No, this one has a glint in her eyes, and this one, too. Ah. Uh, Here's one with no glint. Well, well, Mr. McGuffey. You uh, want me to waste him, Young? Oh, no. <coughs> Later, maybe. Why are you here, Mr. McGuffey? Well, uh, uh Mr. Young, uh, see, I, I'm such an admirer of the Eve dolls that I've, well, I just couldn't resist seeing them again. Mm, so you come to the factory after the workers have gone home, huh? Well, yeah, I'm just a little pushy, but still, you see, they're such marvelous dolls, Mr. Young, so, so, so expressive. There's, a uh, there's one thing that bothers me, though. Oh, what is that, Mr. McGuffey? Well, it's their, their eyes. Now, some of them have glints in them, and some of them don't. Oh, yeah, well, that is easily explainable, Mr. McGuffey. You see, this one, uh, it has glints in the eyes. <laughs> Hey, you you just tore that one apart. Well, only to show you that it contains stuffing. Nothing but stuffing. I see. Well, what about the ones with no glints in their eyes? They contain heroin. Oh, Miss Tawawa, do not point your gun at me. Don't move, Teddy. I will shoot both of you. Oh! Next one is through your heart, Teddy. Or between the eyes. I thought I told you to wait for me at the flat. They had you covered, Mr. McGuffey. I could have handled it. Have the Hong Kong police showed up yet? Not when I came in. What are you doing? Picking up a doll with no glints in the grass. See? Stuff with heroin. <laughs> Dexter Hamilton here. Hello, Dexter. This is, uh, McGuffey. Oh, hello, McGuffey. How's Tawawa? She's, uh, right here beside me. <laughs> What's the word? Well, we, uh, we broke up the dope ring, turned the culprits over to the Hong Kong police, so no more shipments should be made of the Eve dolls. Uh, so Tawawa's hunch was right, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah, in, in a way, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, McGuffey, I want you to go to Hollywood. To Hollywood? Yeah, uh, there's a big market in cocaine there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read yeah, about you, that. And, and bring Miss Tawawa, will you? Bring Miss Tawawa. <laughs> I have never been to Hollywood. <laughs> she can be a big help to you if we don't lose her when some studio offers her a big contract for films. Do I have to bring her? I uh, read about her landing that plane at the airport there. Yeah, but you know how I feel about having... Well, put her on, will you, McGuffey? Here. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton... How would you like to go to Hollywood with McGuffey? I am thrilled by the idea, Mr. Hamilton. That's all I need to hear. Uh, put McGuffey on. Here. What is it, Dexter? McGuffey, book a plane out for you and Miss Tawawa for Los Angeles. I have to, Dexter. You do. 
She's a pretty woman, McGuffey, a karate expert. Can land a 747 as a first-class narc to boot. <laughs> now, what can you possibly have against that? Bahala Nye, Dexter. <laughs> what? I said Bahala Nye. <laughs> it's a Tagalog expression. <laughs> oh, you learned it from Miss Tawawa, huh? You have lots to learn from her, McGuffey. So I'm finding out, Dexter. So I'm finding out. <laughs> Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Did anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip. I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Sale. Get big national savings on the Sears Die Hard. Only $49.99 with trade-in. You save $8 on the maintenance-free battery that starts nearly every car in Indy. And save on Sears Dynaglass Belted 28 Tires. They're on sale now at 40% off spring 1979 general catalog prices. Plus federal excise tax. Dynaglass Belted 28 Tires. Save 40% at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop! Honey, I can't sleep. Maybe you should try counting sheep. You mean sheep? No, Medley Sheep from Sears in so many great colors from light to dark. Rest easy knowing your bed looks fantastic because Medley Solids come in up to 24 colors like Indian Copper, Royal Blue, Lemon Yellow, and Jungle Green. But don't just count them. Mix and match them with Medley Pattern Sheets and Cases for a designer effect. Then dream in color tonight. Available at most larger Sears retail stores in the catalog. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. McGuffey's Hong Kong Connection was written by Ted Sherdeman, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Our stars were William Schallert, Peggy Weber, and Shepard Mencken. Featured in the cast were Tommy Cook, June Foray, Richard Peel, Gene Howell, and Ben Wright. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. Associate Director of Sears Radio Theater is Ken McManus. Sound effects were created by Bud Tollefson. Mark Trella is production supervisor. And the recording engineers are Joe Wachter and Hal McDonald. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.